You're not using these. What? We're not using them. I want to use that. Yeah, well, I want to use. You want to use your Chrome Soft, and I want to use my Z Star. That one is the diamond, which I love I'm my Chrome with. Soft. Yeah, but we're we're going to play with the wrong balls. I like don't want to play on the wrong balls. Proper wrong balls. <laughs> so you're going to use these. We're both going to play with Slazenger. Don't know. V100s. Nah, nah, nah. I want to use this. Budget balls. No. Little game. Does it make a difference? Why are we so precious about our balls? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, a little toey draw down the right. That'll work. So this is a distance ball. So in theory, you're going to be longer, but I've done loads of tests on these and you, it's interesting. It really is in the iron play where you start seeing massive differences. Distance ball, so harder feel, I guess. Yeah, you, re, did you not feel it there? I'm not really with driver. I, I just think because it's at such speed, it's hard to tell. And the driver makes a noise. So what happens yeah. is that's what I found is that the club overrid a bit what the ball until you got into the area where you were taking speed off. Uh oh. That's that... a ripper. That's a, that's a distance ball. So that's going to go through the course, isn't it? <laughs> is that not in your favorite bunkers? <laughs> So in the comments down below, let me know what ball you use and why. I mean, we're definitely quite precious, aren't we, with what golf balls we use? Yeah, I, like, I just feel like I know what my ball does and when I play with a different one, yeah. whether or not it would be different, I don't know. Like, Yeah, well, I'm you're just, about to find yeah, out. It's just, it's just that like safety thing, isn't it? Like yeah, your... so it's that familiarity, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Reliable. One, three, four from the rough downwind and it's dewy. Yeah. Now, what club? 52. Yeah, so this is where you are really questioning. But think about it, if you played a budget ball all the time, you would you not just it. make the adjustments? I don't know, would your score change? You know, are we just conditioned to be really precious with our golf balls? Because, oh, oh my yes. God. That has popped up. <laughs> So the thing with wedge, I mean, that just, they go into orbit, don't they? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> they go up your well, <laughs> I literally blinded myself <laughs> with the sun. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's popping in the air. Is that stopping? I'm not sure that's stopping. <laughs> I think it ran through, yeah. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Pitch mark, pin So I felt like I played this well. Mm. The greens here are firm at the moment, and this is quite a big downslope. I felt like with my ball, I feel like it might be stopping here. Yeah, yeah. At worst case scenario, I think it's getting here. Edge of the green. And I'd be shocked. It'd be one of those ones where I hit it, and it'd be like, oh, come wow. on. What? Yeah, yeah. Where this is, I mean, it's had some speed to get that far in. What I mean by that, if I... Yeah, to get it to go there and stop. Yeah, yeah that's got a bit of speed to yeah. get there, isn't it? Lucky I got that. <laughs> Yeah, nice shot. Lucky I've got mine too, isn't it? <laughs> That's a pickup, you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's been given. I don't care what ball I'm chipping with with the chipper because I'm taking all that, you know, the, the, the variations of spins away basically, aren't I? Yeah. Chipper. Oh my word. <laughs> it's the biggest golf hack ever. Chipper. <laughs> All square, sir. Oh, this is, that's a great drive. It'll cut into the middle. It'll end up on the right middle because of the slope of the fairway if it bounces, but perfect. Get out of the trees. Yeah. Don't know. Didn't hear anything. It's fine, it's just a fraction toey who made it go it left. So this is like the perfect storm. So this is now where I'm wishing I spent more on my golf balls. <laughs> Wet, rough. It's wet, rough, pin right at the front. Before this green there's a it, like there's a tear in the fringe. Yep. And the greens are firm and it's downwind. I mean you could not <laughs> even with my ball on this one, <clears throat> I'm thinking. 
But the difference for me here is with my ball, I would feel more confident to throw it pin eye and beyond. That makes Where sense, with this yeah. ball, you just want to be short and make. I it feel stop. like I have to now play with the bunker, which is 15 yeah. yards short of the green. There's space for me to play a shot. Yeah, yeah. Because if I land this pin eye like it's we did on the last, the green, it's it? going over the back. Where yeah. my ball could land pin eye, I could get lucky and get a grabby one out of the rough. Yeah. So even though this is taking all the spin and everything off my z star or any premium ball is trying to retain it really hard yeah 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 this isn't trying to retain it in the best conditions dry indoors this one drops down so now it, i mean where well, this could be 1000 reps couldn't it? <laughs> so i'm now really thinking height and just please stop please stop i've really chucked that up you have that's pitched at the... Oh, you've done very well there. Uh, I mean, I've just played a really good shot. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh-oh. So, again, maybe I would adjust, but I just don't want to adjust because I know I'm going to get this situation plenty of times on the golf course. Like, this drive was a decent drive. It yeah. was a medium average drive. I'm going to get plenty of. And the other thing as well, if I go to the better courses I go to play, I know I'm going to have that situation nearly every approach shot. <laughs> <laughs> Roll offs, faster greens. So yeah, that was a good shot though. So is my drive. Where is it? Oh, it's nearly by the greens. So. Oh, that is embarrassing. <laughs> so really interesting situation here. You can see the drop off before the green. You can see someone's at a career ring. <laughs> Don't know who that I is. About to go one up. <laughs> <laughs> but not landing this on the green is what Matt says he's going to do. So now it doesn't matter what ball you're yeah, using. Yeah, I, I would be doing the same thing with both balls, I think, here. Landing it somewhere on that um, cut grass. Yeah. And then just hoping that I hit the down slope and it runs out. So you're actually it. using the run. Yeah. If the situation was that you couldn't land it short because it wasn't a UK fringe, lots of the courses we play, that's ruffled. Yeah. Really then I presume you're thinking... Yeah, I want my ball back again. Yeah. Yeah, 58, little zipper. Right, he's going to struggle to get it inside that. Or is he? Ha <laughs> ha lovely. Yeah, I like this ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? And that situation, again, you would say that short-sided, he just didn't need his ball there. So. Can you improve using, in theory, the wrong ball? 100% you can. Um, I do think you are leaving shots out there over a space of a year. But, I mean, we're both going to go one under with a silly ball. <laughs> no, we're not. I know. That did feel harder off the face on my wedge. You do definitely start, when yeah. you're getting softer hits, you start hearing clip. Yeah. But remember, that doesn't relate to if it's stopping or not. It's how it grabs on the face. Because you like you use a Pro V1X, that'll feel clippy. Yeah, yeah. And the Z Star XV feels clippy. I guess I'm the, just the complete extreme other way, aren't I? Yeah, because you're mega off. soft. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't want that. <laughs> Didn't need to see that go in. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, got a new putter as well. New putter, Matthew. New putter. Wonder how that's working. My stuff is arriving. <laughs> how to put more pressure on yourself. <laughs> oh, that's why it's new. That is why he's nude his butter. One old to go. It's interesting, isn't it? Because where it hurts you, say on my last approach before the last hole, yeah. kept running, yeah. there'd be other situations where it might help you. It's, it's like running on more doesn't mean it's always going further away. Running on more means it's going to actually get up to the hole as well sometimes. It's like any bit of equipment, isn't it? Like where you might gain something you have to lose in another part. Yeah. Like driver designs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, for me, if price is the price, because it's only price that's going to yeah. make you buy this ball. You're not going yeah. to buy it because you think this is the ball that's going to help you be the best player. Yeah. I think it also shows you maybe how good those medium range balls can be in price because they're right in between this and the top. So yeah. you are going to get a little bit more help and then you are going to get yeah, uh, slightly different feels. And you're not, yeah, free, yeah, exactly. Kind of stuff, you're not going to get crucified with price. Yeah. If price was, I mean, I say, I say this to my parents who ask me this question a lot and, you know, I, I tell everyone the truth, but you can trust, I'm telling them what I believe. 
if price is no, you know, if all golf balls are free, everyone would use top tier balls, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Beginners, tour pros, everyone. There's just no point giving up what we are giving up with this ball. There's just, yeah. there is no actual point. Yeah. The real point is making back-to-back -back birdies, Matt. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Send one up there. That was two birds. We don't have birdies on the same hole very often. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> we don't make many birdies, to be well, fair. Well, that's what I mean. So the chances <laughs> of them being on the same hole are so slim. <laughs> oh, he's playing a little cut, and that should... Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, that'll hit fairway, won't it? Yeah, it does open up there. What are you doing? I'm just going to hit it straight up there. Oh little, yeah, you're having it straight. Little fin straighter. It's right at the bottom. Yeah, that's running up. That's probably close to mine, I reckon, that. Distance ball, it'll be long. <laughs> 145 into. He's working out the yardage. <gasps> Wonder if he's working Gosh, out Gosh, it's all got a little there. bit serious, isn't it? <laughs> you're right, what's that thing up there? <laughs> I've literally just nearly hit the last green and you're like <laughs> claiming that that's a win, are what, you? What? Yeah, because that is a win. I've hit a puffy cut and you've hit a knuckle straight ball. <laughs> I finned it. I've nearly hit a 340 yard green on the last. <laughs> I towed my last one, I'd have been near and to. And you were 80 yards behind me. What club you got? I've got an eight and I need to clean it. What yardage is it? 145. Cleaning it ain't going to make any difference with this ball. Well, man. yeah, I'm trying to get all the control I can, you see. 145, little eight, right into the wind. It's oh, skinny. it's a li little scabby fin oh, off to the chipper. right. That's a horrible shot. So this is an interesting one to finish, again, where you would learn the difference. But it's 139 to the back, so I'm going to play a 130 yardage into the wind, which is probably almost 135, 139. There's my maths. Yeah. So I'm going to hit like a little nine. Mm hmm But little nines take spin off. And it might go a bit further. And this is wet and non-spinning ball. So I feel like if I hit this wrong, this could literally carry the green. <laughs> where I wouldn't, my ball, it's not going to do that. No. Is it a nice one? It's massive, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, look at the flight of it. Oh, it is massive. See what I mean? Yeah. I hit that so well. You could not, I could just see the, I'm going to play and one of mine. Like that, you never do that. No, you I never, never carry go goods. long. No. Never. So if I reckon, let's see, you could just see that was that flight. There yeah. was no lift to it. Yeah. And I played that like it was pretty much straight at it and as good as I can play it. Bit of a weaker one there. It's a horrible cut one. Yeah. That's not going long though, is it? No, I mean, it's in the bunker right, but even yeah. if I played it straight, I mean, it's going the distance I would go. Yeah. And that's what worries me. Obviously, I would learn to play it, is the discussion. Yeah. But I just would be very nervous with things, because I think I could get that one, and the next shot, you could get one which is medium. Yeah. And you're going to get massive discrepancies. Yeah, deviation, short. Where in mine, it's going to be there, there, short, there, there, short. Yep, yeah. yeah. So I'm massive. You're massive. For your quality of strike, your ball was never getting there. No, I would expect that to be short bunker, like your second one. It was really. a low spinner. Yeah. Sorry, high spinner miss it. Yeah. But because it's the spins off, it's gone. So obviously the contradiction here that some people hopefully will see is they'll be saying, well, you keep saying that everyone comes up short all the time. Mm. So there's a good point here you could make possibly that this ball might help you get up to the hole more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But the thing that would worry me with that logic is where I've hit that one, I reckon if I put more down and hit them, I'm going to get a variation of front of the green to that. Yeah. My ball is never, ever pitching here. Short and long deviation is the thing. Isn't it's it? going to be, my, my ball, the that shot I played, is going to be here at the longest every time. Yep. And then there'll be plenty bit short. Like So again, short and long is going to be 20 paces, where with this one I feel like it could be 30 or 40 paces. Chipping comp <laughs> for the win. Oh, that's Pop perfection, it. Matthew. That's lovely. Sit, 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 sit. Well, that's not a gimme. Just because I have a chipper 
doesn't mean you can't chip. FYI for the snobs out there who hit up my TikTok and stuff. Yeah. Like it's proper embarrassing that people still have this ego thing about ego what in golf. clubs people no. are playing. No, I Just don't Just because that. I have a chipper does not mean I can't chip. It means why am I not choosing a simpler option? Decent, but again. Oh, stop! Yeah. That's what just I just think, if you, if you play this ball, you're just going to be saying that so often. <laughs> Literally every shot. Literally, if you've got a longest drive comp at the weekend, have one of these in your bag, ready for that par five <laughs> that you need to send one down it. But that's the funny contradiction, is they go no further with the driver. No, I know. That's what's so funny, is their distance ball and the driver, they'll perform no different to a premium ball. Well, you outdrove me on this old, so <laughs> don't know if you're right there. It's because I'm a legend in the distance world now, Matt. Oh, it's a putt off. I am the shortest long driver on the planet. <laughs> that's for the win, eh? Yeah, apparently. Pushed. Oh, he's ripped it. That's not even a gimme. Okay. Pick it up. I'm only joking. Oh, okay. You can have it. I was going to... You can have it. Thank you. I was We're gonna all friends, create, aren't we? Create a little bit of tension no, for no, you. No, no, You can have it. That sack. Gun. I don't want those don't, haters on your I don't Instagram want that to be hunting me down. <laughs> I'd rather win it with my new putter, you see. This is your moment. This is it. Another win. Could you play with the wrong ball and improve, Matt? Let's see. <laughs> Shooting one under. <laughs> oh, oh low! No. Literally before I hit it, don't miss low. Oh, you didn't listen to yourself. That's a lovely half. So you can't improve. I, I can't ball. not hit it low with whatever ball I use. <laughs> All putter combo. <laughs> um, what I think is interesting is you can you improve using the wrong ball? Yeah. Yes. Um, how long would you stay using a ball like this if you were improving? I think you would be looking, because you've got to remember when you get better, the gains are smaller. And that doesn't mean as in, you know, when you get the scratch. If you're a 25 handicapper and you're beelining at 20, mm -hmm. so you've got better and your better is 20 and you're sticking, yeah. there are little gains maybe. Low hanging fruit stuff. You know, where you will think, well, why am I giving this away in that? situation. Where are you going? Nowhere. Getting that ball back. 